Hi guys, Nick Pavlakis with Marine Max in St. Pete. Today we're gonna to be talking about different types of flooring aftermarket that a lot of people are doing to their boats nowadays. Now, 10, 20 years ago, there was only one option, and that was teak. That was real wood, required a lot of maintenance. It's beautiful, but it's a full-time job keeping up with it. Nowadays, you're seeing a lot of people go towards these faux teaks, foam material. You can choose just about any color you want, and while it looks cool and you can do some crazy designs, it is awesome on your feet at the end of the day. Your feet aren't hurting, you're not getting fatigued. It's like a cushion underneath your feet. There's a couple different options that you can do too. You can do what's called, well, one of the brands that we like is Flexi Teak. That's a PVC product. Looks like real teak without the maintenance. Follow me inside the boat here. Something that's often overlooked. There's nothing wrong with regular non-skid too. It's easy to clean up at the end of the day, spray it off, do whatever you need to do. And if you wanted to put anything on it after the fact, you can do that. Not so much in salt water, but more in our lakes. You'll see people do carpet. In salt water, you'll see the new Infinity Woven vinyl material spruce things up a little bit. Me, personally, I'm a non-skid guy. It's just a little hard at the, on your feet at the end of the day. That's why I like a helm pad on the boat, at least if it's a center console and you're gonna be standing up driving, your feet are gonna thank you. So whatever you wanna do to your boat, it's completely up to you. Get crazy with it or keep it classy. See you out on the water, guys.